Hello guys, welcome to Dr. Purple Lifestyle. Uh, this is my YouTube channel where I share medical knowledge and experience as I progress my training as a GP registrar. I also try to use this channel to inspire, educate, inform and motivate young people, especially medical students, to become the best they can ever be. So today I'm going to be doing a video uh, to respond to questions lots of my friends are uh, uh, asking which I've answered in private but I want to make like a general video to uh, answer this how to practice in the UK as a doctor so sit back relax and enjoy the video if you are thinking of leaving your country to work in the UK it's better you do it on time early enough I am an international medical graduate, I work here, I trained abroad in Nigeria, I enjoy my work here and I want to say that this is the best professional decision I've made. So I'm doing this video as a guide for you if you want to make such a decision as well. The NHS, National Health Service of the United Kingdom, is in constant need of expertise, medical practitioners, especially doctors, the demand for professional healthcare workers is far more than the supply locally and in a bid to filling up the gap and to render quality service to the general population of the UK the NHS has spread its wings abroad to employ well-trained uh, doctors nurses and other healthcare professionals and most of these uh, professionals are in the shortage occupation list. And what that means is that they are given priority in terms of immigration purposes. So um, top on the list are doctors and the market for doctors is abroad. So the NHS sources for doctors from other countries of the world uh, to work here in the UK. Most times they are offered jobs as junior doctors and they have the option of going into specialist training. And it's a well-supported program, it's a well-supported scheme. So there is no need for any doctor to be afraid of not having career progression if you ever leave your country to work in the UK. Um, so I'm gonna be giving step-by-step -step process of how to work in the UK. There are many routes to work in the UK for a doctor. There is the most common one, which is the PLAB route. There is also the MTI route. The PLAB route, which is the Professional Linguistics Assessment Board route, where international medical graduates who have their medical primary medical qualifications outside of the uk seek to take uh, professional exams and get license from the general medical council of the uk and are given job opportunities and supported with their immigration process to work in the uk and subsequently to train if they so desire uh, the other route is the medical training initiative where the NHS seeks to employ postgraduate trainees or even doctors who are already in training abroad to work in the UK. It's an alternative to the PLAB route because these ones do not need to take the PLAB exams. And they come work in the UK under a contract, a fixed contract for a couple of years after which they can return back to their country or make a decision to stay back depending on the circumstances surrounding their entry in the first place into the country. But in this video, I'm specifically going to be talking about the PLAB exams and how to go about it. For you to work in the UK as a junior doctor who has qualified from abroad, Having passed your medical degree, you have your medical license and having met with all the necessary prerequisites, what you need to do is to take the IELTS exam, which is the International English Licensing 
test scheme. If you take the IELTS exam, there is a required score of cumulative 7.5 with an individual band score of 7.0 at least minimum. And when you pass that, you can register with the General Medical Council to get a registration number, which you will use to sit for the PLAB exam. The PLAB exam is a set of two separate exams written at two various locations. The PLAB 1 exam is written in so many countries abroad, including Nigeria. Um, and the PLAB 2 exam is written only here in the UK, in uh, London and in Manchester. Or previously, it was written only in Manchester, but now there is a centre in London as well. The PLAB 1 exam is a multi-choice question exam, which tests your basic and clinical knowledge. It's a series of 200 multiple choice questions and the exam lasts for three hours. There is usually a pass rate set every year. And when you pass that, you're qualified to sit for the second set of exam, which is the PLAB 2 exam. The PLAB 2 exam is a clinical scenario exam, which seeks to test a little bit of your medical knowledge but most importantly, about your communication skills, your adaptation to the UK work environment, and your interpersonal skills. There are various centers for practice for the exams in the UK, in London, in Manchester, in Liverpool, in Birmingham, where applicants are schooled, are trained privately to adapt to the conditions of the exam. The PLAB 1 exam is written every quarter and the PLAB 2 exam is written most times twice in a month. When you have passed both PLAB 1 and PLAB 2 exams successfully, you can officially apply a GMC with all your necessary documents and you get registered. When you're registered, you can then apply for a job. Most times, some private hospitals will approach you for job opportunities to work already. At other points, you have to make a decision if you want to work for the NHS or if you want to work for private hospitals. Whichever decision you make, the employing trust will give you all the necessary information assistance you need to help you migrate to the uk to work so in a nutshell this is very possible and it's a simple systematic process of the ielts exams the plab one exams the plab two exams gmc registration and you will land yourself in the job market in the uk which from my experience and from experiences of so many people around who i know it doesn't take quite long for you to get a job within three to six months of passing your exams and getting your gmc registration all sorted you should be able to get a job to work in the uk mostly as a junior doctor most of the jobs will be senior house officer job entry level or a specialist registrar job depending on your years of training abroad your experience and what you have to offer once you have started the job integrate properly into the uk culture mix up with other doctors you can then decide on what career pathway you want to go. Fortunately, with Brexit and with everything happening politically, training opportunities seem to be a lot easier to get into any specialty you want. Although there are specialties that are most favorable to get for international medical graduates. Example is the general practice, which is a specialty to train general practitioners to fill the primary health 
care services in the UK. I hope this video has helped you. I hope you can make your decision. If there's any information you need, you can always leave a comment. Contact me on my other social media pages. On here, this is Dr. Purple Lifestyle. On Instagram, it is Dr. Purple. On Facebook, it's Douglas Iyala Purple. And I am happy to share more information with you, support in any way possible to ensure that your transition to work in the UK and your dream of working abroad is a reality. Like this video, make some comments if you want, subscribe if you like the content, and enjoy yourself. Cheers, bye.